Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This is KK and today we are playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, I know it's a change from playing <laughs> The Sims, but I ran out of space. <laughs> so I can't do The Sims update, so my computer won't let me play that. But I recently just bought the DLC for Disney Dreamlight Valley. After I said I wasn't going to, but then I did. So I have the um, A Rift in Time DLC, so adds more characters, more stuff to do. Um, I'm very excited. Disney Dreamlight just had an update, so we got That's why inner voice likes to remind um, me. Mike I'm Wazowski coming. and Sully from Monsters, Inc. So I don't know if I, I wasn't going to do like a playthrough through this, more along the lines of like, just join and watch me do some quests here and there. Um, I have zero patience to wait and play the game like in a row kind of thing and wait till the next stream to be able to play this because I love playing this game so I'd like to play it on my off chance that I get I don't have to stream it every time but so I'm just gonna do some errands um I It's like the like our alter ego has its own little <laughs> thing that so always throws you off. I'm like, what is that noise? So I don't think I'm gonna hang out Whoa, at this part of my island, Disneyland. So basically, Rift in Time is like an alternate like place that you can go. And I can show you that. But first, I like to see what's in the store. Some sweatpants. Good day, dear. Woohoo! Goodbye now. To the loo. Cozy. This also got an update, so there's way more stuff for sale. So you've got some like frames, mirrors, God, this big fireplace is actually in, I believe, Mother Gothel's little area. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love that. Little picnic set. We've got some wallpapers and floors over here. I really feel like buying anything. Usually I just check out the store, see if I want to buy anything in this game. So I've been playing the a wee bit of conversation? Rift in Time, so I had to reorganize my entire thought process of like my house and trying to make sure because basically your house you have two houses well it's the same house technically and you can see your house in the Rift of Time like map and in this one so i wanted to make sure i had like a bunch of my stuff sitting outdoors my house and like chests so a lot of like my materials were in chests outside and i wanted to put it inside the house so that i can reach it from like all val all parts of the valley so i've got all of my this is like all the food and fish and spices and stuff room i got this wallpaper with playing with <laughs> Mike and Sully, the update with them. Um, we've got some more flowers now that we've got a whole nother space of a bunch of flowers on a map. And then obviously materials, there's a lot more different materials and everything. So my rooms still have plenty of room if I need to add more chests and tables to like keep things. But basically with this game, you wanna like Hoard stuff as best as you can. Just gotta keep everything you got. So Eve, Mom? Eve became part of the um, DLC um, Rapunzel and Gaston. So those are the three characters that were part of this DLC. So 
it's exciting to see how egotistical Gaston is. But so you basically this is like where everything would be when you like unlocked characters. So like when we unlocked Moana and, and Wally and Remy from Ratatouille, um, Buzz and Woody, Anna and Elsa, and then um, Lion King characters, and then since. Bell and Beast too, and then since Mike and Sully came, they just opened up this um the scream floor, <laughs> or they call it the laugh floor now because if you've watched Monsters Inc., it's the laugh floor. So you basically go through this castle and you go into this little area, and I'm assuming with this game there'll be like more DLCs to add to it. So I'm assuming like all of these like areas that are like under construction will be like all the expansion packs to this game. Cause I can see this game going like how The Sims is and just buying all the DLCs for it because I don't know about you, but I had to buy this one because as much as people talked about it, I was really excited about this. So it's like adds more storyline, that kind of thing. So we've got this whole other world basically. And like, as you can see Eve's now on this world too, like they can travel between them and whatnot. Like, we still have to unlock this area over here. Um, I guess Jafar is in this too, so there's like a quest to figure out what's going on with him, but yeah, so you've got like this new tool, which you basically just go around and you can, like dig things out of the ground. So you kind of hit your mouse. So if I like randomly hit my keyboard a bunch of times, it's because of that. <laughs> so the same store is here as well as Remy's restaurant. And the store and Remy's restaurant have like the same things in both the areas. So right now we're trying to finish this quest with um, Eve here. We have to find an ancient stem, ancient gemstone around Ancient's Landing. Um, so it's just kind of using our little hourglass staff here and doing that. So there's Gaston. All of their little catchphrases to the game, so. And there's Rapunzel. So, like, on the, um, regular island, we've got... Like the thorns that we have to clean up, and then these are like these little gemstone things that we have to clean up. I forgot what these are called. Wild Tangle is what these are called. <laughs> I know, I have a quest with Scrooge, but... A lot of this stuff, we have to like collect mist, so I've got like 3,000 of that right now. A lot of the stuff to like unlock the different areas of this map. You need, um mist to unlock them and it's it's pretty pricey so honestly like with this like staff you can pull a bunch of mist out of the ground to get more of it oh, it's Gaston again. but i think this dlc is super pretty like look at this it's just so much work and time went into this and it's i love it i don't know why i waited so long to 
get the DLC. But at least I related for it to like maybe get its kinks out. I don't know if there was really that many kinks, but there <laughs> I'm sure there was without any, any kind of game when you first start playing it or adding more things to it. I'm sure there's some stuff that were Sorry if you get dizzy with my camera moving skills. <laughs> I need to collect all the wood and stuff that I can get. In the at least in this part of this part of the area. Just because I don't have like a whole lot of this saved up from playing the game. I have like a whole bunch of other stuff in the other part of the Disney Dreamland. But just adding more stuff here and there. the gem is obviously yet. So, I did have a, like, the capybaras, there's more, like right there, there's the blue one <laughs> that you can feed. And, um, this place they've is got no monkeys error. that you can feed, and then cobras. I know the monkeys like banana splits. It's bananas and monkeys pretty much go together. And then the cobras like eggs. And the capybaras, I have not tried to feed one, so I honestly don't know what they like yet. I just like love all like the jungle noises. Just everything that they put into this is just so awesome. Yeah, like I've got more of these areas to clear. So we've got this one is 10,000 to clear. 6,000, 6,000. So lots of that to clear, but Get there. So I've got like time bending tools, is like you can build more things. It's like an additional part of the game where instead of like building normal furniture items like you can build furniture and different different stuff with that time bending aspect of it so if I squint randomly the Sun is shining into my windows, so not that I'm complaining. <laughs> and then this is like the desert part. This is where the cobras hang out. There's a cobra. I'm 
sure we'll eventually find. This ancient gemstone. Hopefully before we run out of energy, but who knows. Oh, it's down there. There was like a secret tunnel path thingy down here. Like, I can't break these out of my way. There's like stuff over there that I need to grab, but can't get over there yet. This is Javar Jafar's like castle thingy. But like we can't get into it because he blocked the door from the inside, so we have to wait for Merlin to come up with something. stuff down there and I'm not sure how you get down there maybe this way I'm not actually sure how do you get down there it's the world's biggest question I'm guessing through there. That's how you get down there. Well, I can't get down there, so <laughs> that sucks. That's okay. Too bad I can't just like jump down there. Whatever. It's fine. Don't need to go down there, I guess. It'd be nice if we could unlock. soon so that I can because there's like a secret path through up here as well and mm. 
need to get further with the quest to be able to... Like, Merlin just gave us, like, the option to... upgrade our tools so that we could get at least some of those mushrooms and things. That doesn't really help us when we, um... Need to find this gem, and I cannot find it. We've been all around. All around these places, I guess except for... Over here. This is Eve's like secret little garden area that she has with Wally, which I find super cute. Because it's a memory ball. Mm. <laughs> Box ball. It's close enough. I know my shapes, I promise. Oh, look at that. It's Prince Charming. It's the dark version of me sitting behind a I was not expecting to get that right off the bat. That's fine. <laughs> so we gotta find Eve. She's over there. already know where to go. I'm right behind you. Humans Ooh. are amazing. They discover, they create. Follow Eve to the mystery location. She's probably gonna go in this cave. She's got like a secret little cave area. For now, for the melting part. So much fire. It's terrifying. Ooh. You did exactly what it asked. Thanks, Eve. I'll take care of everything. I'm going to use my shovel if I don't want to solidify the gemstones again. Now it's time to craft the stone canvas. Oh no. 
like these little tents. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. So I need some more plastic scraps. So basically, oh my gosh, my creepy self is just staring at me. So to find like the plastic scraps, you have to fish and they're just like chilling about in the water. Seems to be like my, my luck. Instead of plastic, I get fish. And instead of fish, I get plastic pieces. It's fantastic. I love it. See, there's a plastic piece. That's what I was looking for. Now we got three, we just need two more. I wish I would have said that we needed these. I would have gone and gotten these. But we didn't say that. have enough. If I don't have enough, we'll go back. I thought she just like left entirely. I'm like, dude, <laughs> we need to give this to you. Don't run away from us. What? <laughs> Directive. Okay. Here is some stone canvas. Be ready to create your own masterpiece. Let's go to the secret garden together. I'll follow you to the secret garden. How's that sound, Eve? Just so much faster than I am. Nope, I just pet my fox. Whenever you're ready, Eve, you can place the stone canvas and use lasers to decorate. Maxi, thank you for the follow. Oh, look, she painted Wally and herself. So cute. Does that mean you're proud of your own work? This goes to show you how something negative can turn into a positive. So cute. I guess you'd like to go back to Wally now. I'll see you around. I am running out of energy, so I am going to go into my house. I also have a very full inventory, so I'll go through and clean all that up. forgetting
just cleaning out my stuff. put like what I have in the boxes on the counters here. That way I need I can tell what needs to go where. Right. Got everything out of my pockets. Scrooge. How about a wee bit of conversation? Sure. Caitlin, I made another discovery. You got time for another tip about a mom automating the island. Let's hear it. You must remember how I was telling you the isle used to be home to all sorts of ancient machines that helped care I for it. I managed to learn more about one. It's some sort of machine that gardens for you. That's cool. No way. It's quite remarkable. It reminds me of the sort of thing my dear friend Gyro builds. There's just one wee problem. I don't know where you're going to find all the ancient parts to build it. Ancient parts. That's the sort of thing I'm always finding with my hourglass. So then why don't you take those ancient blueprints and see what you can do with them? I might need to make my hourglass more powerful at a time-bending table before I can find all of this. If that's not gardening you're interested in, you can always make another kind of ancient machine. <laughs> the potential here is grand. I cannot wait to see what you do. Bye bye now. Upgrade my hourglass to level one to be able to find craft more treasures. Oh, of course. All of our mist that we're getting is just going away. It's so upsetting. Can't even get enough mist to like unlock our I want to do more. Unlock more areas or upgrade my hourglass. I'm assuming upgrade my hourglass. Travel to all these places. Well, 
the cinnamon on the ground. <laughs> like stuff on the ground around here that I just trip over all of it. Very hard to get missed right off the bat. I mean, really, pretty easy uh, early on. You get a lot of missed. Then it just gets like harder. Like now, I have to. The only thing I can do is get more missed to unlock more missed. I have like this thing over here, I'll show you. Still telling me to go down there. So you go like this. And then it disappears. <laughs> Basically get like a bunch of options to do that. 
So, what do we got here? We've got... This area we can unlock. Right? Yes. This area we can unlock for 6,000. And then, or... Just notice something. Sister Far is hanging out right here. Which we've been trying to find him, so. Well, hello? Yeah! <laughs> I couldn't have done that myself. Well, that added another quest to our... Whoa! It's trees! So interesting. There's so much to do over here. I wonder what sort of special ingredients grow. Oh, you can go up this vine. I unlock it and immediately, like, all of the people just start coming in here. Oh, that's fine. I have to explore over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
eat that. Eat some almonds. Maybe eat some garlic. I don't know. <laughs> and some cinnamon. Just try to get your levels of hungriness. Up. Down. Up. <laughs> Ooh, a treasure chest. That only gave us money. See. Sorry for the camera busyness. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to fit back here, but I did. So many treasure chests. I don't mind that. I like prizes. some things that are just as special as she are she is but a few of them are kind of hard to get without magic like the shiny blue ones and the dunes or the nice orange ones in ancient landing oh and i also saw big green ones that were moving around in the wild tangle 
Don't worry, I know just the flowers you're talking about. If I can get those for you in the meantime, be careful if you're exploring the aisle. Don't worry, I will. See you real soon. <laughs> hey, blue grass like. Hey. Has that always been there? <laughs> I love how they spelled imagination. <laughs> Good one. We have many more blue glass flowers at my house, but Let's see if I can get six of them out and about. Sure can. So we need orange bird of paradise and green flat trap. See, he's back in his house again. I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is like legitimately I have to try to find him in here. It's probably just like a glitch and it's not actually in here. Interesting. Probably just a glitch.
We need some Venus fly, fly traps, but the green ones specifically. Purple. I don't need any purple ones. Have a bull market day. Thank you. Now we need these orange of paradise. little glitch there. Now we'll try my house, just cause um, I didn't want to take all of them from my house, but
bring the flowers to me. Sure, but also I have like several things in here. Put this way. Like my favorite part of the game is just like organizing all my stuff. <laughs> it's so exciting to just have everything have its own place. It's like an OCD paradise. So these are usually fun little gifts that you get. Ooh, cute. Don't know if I'll ever use that, but thanks. A carved wood table. Cute. Now where's Mickey? Oh, he's coming to me. Here's your flowers for Minnie. So cute. Hi. Hi, Mickey. Here you go, Mickey. I got the flowers you asked oh. for. Thanks, pal. Hold on, there's something funny about these. The blue ones, it's made out of glass, and the green ones, it seems more like a pet than a houseplant. A lot of dangerous magic has been running wild on Eternity Isle. I guess it's made these flowers a little bit weird. Gosh, I don't know if Minnie would like any of these much. She had enough trouble with magic during her time in the here and there. Sorry I asked you to do all that, Caitlin. Do you think these flowers seem so magical there's someone else that you could use them for something? Bring them to Merlin. He can use them for his experiments. That's great. I bet Merlin would love to take a look at these. Thanks for your help, Caitlin. Even if it didn't return out exactly how we planned. Next time I'll stick to petunias. Petunias. Thanks, pal! Merlin, Mickey doesn't want these flowers. I had to go around the place and pick up. Can you take them for me? That's how I see that conversation going. Can you take these off my hand so I don't oh, have to deal with hello. them? Hmm, what are these? What do they look like? How fascinating. These are quite peculiar indeed. Well, it's a good thing you brought them to me. We have to make sure Ursula doesn't get her hands on any of these. Extraordinary! I'll need some time in the library to research them, and some experiments may be required. Quite I expect they keep me busy for quite a while. Perhaps oh, even something as useful as indoor oh, plumbing, I, but more I, investigation well, is in order. In any case, I'd like to give you something to thank you for bringing me such an interesting project. I was doing some researches with these earlier, but they're of no use to me now. Use them wisely. Alexander. Boring. Thank you. I got a miracle growth elixir. Thanks. <laughs> 
so kind of you. I don't know how I ever will repay you for such a grand gesture. thousand missed points so what does it say three dream mangoes okay I'll do that get you some dream mangoes Change your outfit. Sure. That's a pretty easy one. Yay, seaweed. Just keep catching seaweed. I'm supposed to get those ones. A bunch of splinters of dang it. I know you're. 
seeker? Others might think you're... What do they call you? A robot? But I know the truth. That shape, your strength, it's obvious what you are. <laughs> An enormous egg? You can tell me the My truth, words, no. A villain and their riches are soon parted. <laughs> that was great. I love that. That's fantastic. Good to see you. Oh. That was awesome. <laughs> Can't hide what you truly are. An egg. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. So, I'm going to... Go home for a second here. Because apparently... Welcome to the stream. I'm good. How are you? Do I have yams? I don't think I do. Where would I have them? Whatever. They like cabbage anyways. <laughs> Donald Duck? Not in this area. I don't want him here. Here, have this. Thank you. You like it. Amazing. So cute. Sorry, my mouse just glitched out there. Um, we will mine some rocks. doing good good to hear yeah my weekend plans are pretty much a whole lot of nothing i've got nothing nothing planned not i've got nothing lately i've just been playing <laughs> this game since I, well, since I bought the expansion pet or the DLC to this, I have played nothing but this for this entire time. You just live super randomly. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to life. 
randomly living. Live day by day. squinting the sun is shining like directly onto my computer I literally can't see what I'm doing You don't know the future. A buddy might call and you might want to do something. Yeah, I mean... Those are like the best kind of plans though. When you're got... When you have no plans and then someone's like, Do you want to hang out? Like, oh yeah. I have nothing else better to do. Nothing else to do. Yeah, you can't say no to someone asking you to hang out. Well, I mean, you can say no, but... It's a little hard to say no if you really don't have any excuse. <laughs> How many... Oh, I have to... It said mine in the ancient landing. Here I am mining everywhere else but the ancient landing. <laughs> Follow directions. <laughs> I'm hard at I'm bad at it. I love how they like all just come bombard you when you're doing anything in this game. Like, you're fishing? Want a friend to be right up behind you? You're mining? How about I stand directly in front of you or next to you? Like, give me some space, man. No need for up so up close and personal. Was Donald Duck in my way? Yeah, boundaries, Donald Duck. He's also quite annoying. <laughs> the worst... The worst character in this game. Well, I guess there could be worse. You don't know who's all in this. I mean, Donald Duck's in it. We got a whole bunch of these people. We could do all areas. So we've got Belle, Gaston, Beast, Fairy Godmother, Maribel, Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, Stitch, Donald Duck, Goofy, Mickey and Minnie, Scrooge, Maui, Moana. These two are new. Mike Wazowski and Sully just got added to the game. Remy, Mother Gothlin, Rapunzel, Nala, Scar, and Simba, Ariel, Ursula, and not- I mean, Prince Eric is in the game, I just haven't unlocked him. And Merlin, Jack Skellington, Buzz and Woody, Eve and Wally, and Vanellope. So lots. 
Lots of characters. And this creepy alter ego of myself. Who has its own little song of praise when you're listening. What was I doing? Bring a friend their favorite gift. Do I want to? Rapunzel literally wants... <laughs> iron ore? Why would I give you my iron ore? Stitch? Yeah, Stitch is like the first character I ever fully maxed out. Well, the first character I ever maxed out the fastest. It was so easy to max his level of friendship. It's just fun to have you follow him, him to follow you around. I'd rather have him follow you around than other people, but if I had to pick. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Humans are amazing. They discover, they create. I mean, just look at this place. Okay, Remy. <laughs> Humans are amazing. Stitch and the mouse from Rat Ratatouille. Those are who you be buds with? Yeah. You know what's easiest to be buds with like the smallest character in the game? Because <laughs> when they follow you around, they don't get in your way. Because somebody like Maui who gets in your way entirely and takes up like an entire part of like your screen. Yeah. Or like half of your screen, no thanks. Like sometimes I randomly find Remy from Ratatouille. He's just randomly, like he'll just, like earlier when he was just standing right here, you couldn't really see him. You just hear him talking and you're like, Remember, where's, the, time is money. where's the rat? <laughs> How did she get all the way over there so fast? It would be cool if it could chill on your head like in the movie. Yeah, that would be cool. Just have it... Have him sitting on your head while you cook. Because you can cook in this game, too. Dude, where is she? <laughs> She's so far away. I apparently don't know how to move my... Hi! Here. Take this. I'm so excited! Ah! <gasps> Do you ever like go barefoot? <laughs> Icky, dangerous! <laughs> what are your huh? opinion on puddles? Uh... I'm hoping you can help me. Yay, I leveled her up. What do I want her to do with me? She can garden. Me. I really need to talk to you. Well, now I can get another quest from her, but I'm not done yet. I guess I could. You're here! It's about the tower. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hoping you could help me fix it. I love how she says it like really fast. 
Hoping you can help me fix it? I can't speak for that. I'd love to help you fix <sighs> it because I feel like I don't have a choice. Oh. I just love talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> talking to you too. Oh. Come on. I did. Why is she like glitching out? You're here! <gasps> she told me to follow me. I'm here. Girl, what is wrong with you? Oh. We wanted to talk outside, not inside. <sighs> hmm. Used to talk to the walls as you painted them. <laughs> oh, nice. You have to fix it up. There's an old door. Oh. I've always wanted my own door. How <laughs> sad. Why not dream bigger? <sighs> With a knob and oh. hinges, and I can open it whenever I want. I just picture her like you should put one of those spinning doors like in the elf movie where he's just like spinning around and around because he's never used a door before that's what i feel like she would do uh-huh yeah she is a bit eccentric yep she's a bit like closeted under a rock <laughs> like <laughs> doesn't know much <gasps> she'd probably be like what is what is that a door I've never heard of a door before that's what she sounds like to me. <laughs> harvest some strawberries. when you run up like that. <laughs> You're spooky. Hi there, pal. Hi there, pal. So fruits. I just did this mining thing, but I guess I'll mine again. <laughs> Ooh, I can buy more things off of this. Cute. 
for the fact that like none of this goes. You can wear that. Why not? I promise I'm not trying to like trip people up by doing this so much. <laughs> Okay, I've mined a bunch of rocks. Do I get the reward yet? There we go. Got it. Just need to get this up to 6,000. Would be nice. extra to be good at button mashing I'm not I'm not good at it uh, just so you know I've got some new goods at the store The monkey, the monkey. Sweet, not that one. Let me cook. Cook with seafood. How many meals with seafood? One. seafood platter. You haven't watched one of my streams in a while? I stream... If I am going to be streaming, it'll probably be Saturdays around like... Eh. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, till probably about like 5 or so. Sometimes later. But if I am streaming, it's usually on Saturdays. Um, during the week, it just depends. I have to work and then... Sometimes I don't really feel like gaming after work, so... <laughs> I'm thinking about trying to add a, a stream day in the middle of the week, like a Wednesday or something. just depends. I also... Weekends are usually free, but sometimes buddies want to play a game on weekends. Yeah, that's... A lot of times, if I am not streaming, it's probably because my fiancé is playing games with his friends or something. We have one computer. <laughs> one PC. So... I'm playing games, just not on this PC and not streaming, because he's usually doing that, so. Remember, Which is fine. He can... 
he bought it. <laughs> I guess he can use it, right? I'm the one using his stuff. <laughs> Ever played good pizza, great pizza? No, what is that? Stop throwing things across the... I can't even get over there. It's a pizza making cooking game. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I used to play, I don't know if a lot of people have played this in school, but like whole math games had like a I think living here is a marvelous opportunity. Like a paparilla like pizza thing and like a make Desserts or like make like I think they had like a freezeria one as well. I don't know if it's I don't know if people still play those games anymore, but it was just like on a website. They had like a taco Rio one. But I always loved playing those games. It was so fun to just make them. And if anyone's ever played with ah, webkins, <laughs> I know. I don't know if they still have webkins out there. I think they do. But like webkins used to have like this mini game and it was like making pizzas. That was always fun when I was a kid. Ooh. Let's see. I got to get us You found the Papa Games website, you've never tried it? Yeah. Those are so fun. Yahoo Pool. <laughs> Gather sap. Yes, the pi the Paparias or the Pizzeria, Papa Mia's, whatever games are so fun. <laughs> My sisters and I, we would usually play like a the freezeria, like the ice cream making one, you can make like flurries basically. And it was, sometimes it was fun to just be completely terrible at it. Just chaos <laughs> with building <laughs> or with making, um, pizzas or anything like that. So much fun. Three decor to the wild tangle. Does it need more decor in the wild tangle? Do you think I'd like the good pizza, great pizza? It's a game along those lines. It it does sound like it would be. When you said that, that it was like making pizzas, it does sound a lot like when I played those games as a kid. Probably would like it. What do I want to add over here? Maybe like, is this a palm tree area? <laughs> I don't know. Ice cream stand, that would be fun.
just gonna add this random mirror right there. Oops. You get an order and you click on stuff, add the stuff and put it in the oven. Oh yeah. That like kind of like uh you're working in a restaurant, you gotta make sure you get multiple orders in at a time. Is that kind of what it's like? to get actually a, another reward here in a second. I just need to fish one more time over here. Hope you have a bull mark. Please. They have like this like mini game now in this game too and it's like scramble coin and I won it once because I literally don't <laughs> know how to play it five vegetables what are like the easiest vegetables that grow the fastest here one hour? No, we don't want that. Ten minutes? Guess we can wait ten minutes for that to grow. That's fine. Later on, you get struggle with people wanting four pizzas, one all the way, one vegan, one half sauce, the other no sauce but cheese. <laughs> yes. I do remember playing types of games like that, too. You've got, like, burger making, and you're like, one wants it rare, one wants it medium, one wants medium and rare. <laughs> Stop messing it up. <laughs> What the real world restaurant is like. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've played a game like that. I like story games. Oh, it's not in there. have any of these oh my gosh all that work and I didn't even have any yeah you could I could always stream it from a mobile device too true I could I'm slowly getting into stuff I was gonna play the sims today but I don't have enough storage on our drive anymore. I don't know what happened to it. So it won't let me do the new Sims update. How's it going? And I don't want to delete anything that I'm not, <laughs> that I shouldn't be deleting. Cause again, I don't use this computer the most of the time, so. I'll have to wait till they're home to clear off <laughs> that. And then, then we there's talk of getting us like another drive of some sort just to put my games on because I clearly 
I play the games that take up the most storage, like the Sims in this game. You know the feeling? Yeah. Yep. We can prepare a four star meal or better. Sure. Why not? Do another sea fish. Feed a cobra. Could do that. That would probably be the easiest route. Yeah, I was actually like really looking forward to playing The Sims today. Sometimes I have to be in the mood to want to play it. And then I went to go open it and it was like, you have an update. And I was like, oh shoot, I can't update it. And I was going to. That's okay though. It'll be ready for next week, and maybe next weekend I'll play. I'll play The Sims again. I do, on my Twitch channel, have my YouTube linked. And you can watch the past streams on there. So I've uploaded one of the... I've played this one other time on stream, otherwise most of the time it's been... The Sims. Because <laughs> that is my go-to game. And I have not played The Sims in a while, which is probably why it needs an update. I gotta feed this cobra. No! <laughs> okay, that's so annoying. I hate when they do that. So you have to like creep up on them. They don't like to be startled. Got up to 6,000 and now they're all gonna be gone in two seconds because I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be like how many left? Oh, I only needed 5,000 to do it. <laughs> Here I am working my butt off to get to. It's 
blinding me. <laughs> oh, hello! Surprising I can see my computer again. <laughs> well, <laughs> run along now. Gonna make me do even more. That's what like sucks. Like when you have to unlock something, you need like even more mist and all this stuff. And the only way you get mist is walking around and doing a bunch of stuff. Of course, they use mist to function. Three thousand. It needs three thousand for each one of these. How do you get those ancient cores? How you find those? <laughs> Good to know. What was that? Ashes. Someone's ashes. That's what it looks like. Way to get missed. Upgrade your tools. about this game like you need so much like stuff like you just have to pick up everything because you're gonna eventually need it
There's a big update coming to Stardew. I feel like I vaguely remember hearing something about it. But I don't remember, like, I didn't look into what comes with it, but I did know that there is an update coming to it, which everyone is like, oh my gosh, an update. Do you know what's in it? I'm curious. He's keeping it a secret since he's adding a lot of new content and wants us to find out by ourselves. Oh, I like that. That sounds exciting. That is so cool. You're so excited. I I would be too. Absolutely. Why is this? Do that. He's been working on it for a year or something. I I think he's a really cool dude. <laughs> I think everyone will say that he's a really really cool dude. He's a beast. He works so hard on this game. Says it's his life work. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it is his life work. It's insane. It's crazy how, like, one person... ...could make <laughs> something like that. One person. Oh, why do I have to place it? In the glittering dunes. Yeah, I don't think any other normal person could ever make a single game like that. That is insane. Where is Scrooge? Scrooge McDick. Where is ya? Where are you? How about a wee bit of conversation? You did it! You built a machine! <laughs> well, uh, uh. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, thank you for giving me one of the you. two bags that I... <laughs> Let's see as far as quests. We'll go back to hers. He says you don't have to start a new farm with an update, but the thing is you will miss a lot of new content since a lot of stuff will happen early on. 
Hmm. I wonder. I know that I've streamed... I don't know how many streams we've done. But my fiance and I play are playing like a playthrough. And I don't think we're very far. And I'm wondering if like... It'd be easy just to start completely over or if like... It's better to... I don't know. I feel like it would be better to start over and do like a whole ordeal. And kind of just see what it's like playing it for the first time. He's adding a new farm, so it's probably spot best to start on that farm. Oh, yeah. I wonder what it'd be like if it's like a mixture between like rivers and woods or or if it's another like monster farm where you've got a bunch of like creatures that come out you're so stoked do you know when it comes out or is it just going to be a surprise for everyone like a surprise it's here kind of thing near the end of this month, like the 19th. Ooh. I don't know, 19 days. Can we handle it? Seems like a tough feat. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I totally forgot that they were doing that update, but I do know that, like, everyone's been talking about it. It'll be fun to play. Maybe I'll, like, actually learn... Not learn. I don't usually play... Stardew on, like, a PC. Hi, over here. But if I'm good at, like, I've this PC game, adventure is, for us. Like the same kind of concept where you got like tools and everything on the number pads and stuff. I feel like it wouldn't be too bad at picking it up. It's probably like different things, but maybe I'll do. Maybe I can start streaming like Stardew Valley runs. We can do like the new update. Oh. At first, it was just going to be as patched to make it easier for the modding community and it ended up going all over the board and adding a ton of new content and events. That's awesome. That's really cool of him to do that. She wants her frying pan back. Never going back to my tower. She said, I am never going back to my tower. But I just fixed it up for you, so... I don't know why the camera is like this right now. That's really... Concerning. <laughs> this is really... It 
it's like everything close up got clear, but everything far away is like blurry. That is super weird and I do not like that. Oh, nope, that didn't fix it. <laughs> Near the grasslands. Okay. I don't think it's on the stream end though. No, it is. It's blue. That is so weird. Why is it doing that? Okay. Oasis and the docks. So the oasis is over here. Ah! Camera. is not usually this blurry. Promise I'm not trying to hurt everyone's eyes watching this stream. <laughs> Rapunzel, I got all your stuff. <laughs> Look at how blurry that is. Horrible. Where is she? Oh my gosh. I wonder if like going in somewhere and then coming back out would change it all. didn't. I think it made it worse. <laughs> now where'd she go? All the way over here? Oh my gosh. Apparently we're only meant to see everything close up. This is like how actually blind I am in real life. Quit moving, Rapunzel! <laughs> oh, oh, it's you! Show. Can Hello. we talk? Come on! There we go. <gasps> you found them. out on the 19th and he said he will drop a pack. 
patch notes on that day, but it's better to not read them because of spoilers. It's true. It's gonna be hard to not... Adventure for us. <gasps> Welcome home, Rapunzel. <laughs> huh. Bye. We're after Tropical Companions House. Okay. I, that makes me super excited to try to play that, and I'm going to try to do it. There's a movie theater in... Yes, I did know that. You confused me for a second, but yes, I did know that there is a movie theater in Stardew Valley. But I can't remember where, or even how to get it. Tropical companion house to be not in the tropical area. I want it to be by my house. <laughs> oh, I have to place it in the jungle? Man, it's really ruining my, <laughs> my plans. Every time that I've tried to put something somewhere, it's been like, you can't put that there. Why? Oh, it's fixed. It's not glitching out anymore. Yes. Thank goodness. It's driving me wild. Oh, There's still so you, much you don't know about that game. Talk? I, for real. I mean, I, the last playthrough that I've ever done is that we unlocked, like, the, what is it? The island. Whatever the island is, because I'm blanking, and I can't remember what it is. But, <sighs> I oh. unlocked that. It's really bugging me that I can't remember what it's called. And I hadn't really done much with it. At all. So that's like as far as I got game wise. Oh, the movie theater is the abandoned Joja Mart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure after you fix up the abandoned Joja Mart, it turns into. The movie theater. So you know how there's like a secret, maybe secret passage package, if you don't like spoilers. Um, that's like when you do that, you get you get the whatever you call it, the movie theater. Yes, that is how you do that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
Yeah, if you if you play Stardew Valley and use the Stardew Wiki, <laughs> you're doing it right. But that's only I if you like spoilers, though. Five stars. Yeah, it's like after you finish the community center, and then you get like a extra bonus package in the Banded Jojo Mart, and then you complete the Banded one. Where you need like the prismatic shard and some other caviar and things that are like impossible to get. You kind of have to, otherwise you do nothing but fish for years. Yeah. I mean, a lot of what I know <laughs> from Stardew Valley is probably from that first is using like the wiki and trying to like figure out what is needed. Just easier when you <laughs> when you cheat in games. <laughs> but like also I get it, people don't like spoilers and like to figure things out on their own but i'd like to know where i need to go if i want to view like a heart event i want to need i need to know where to be to trigger one so in my defense that's what i do and i need to know what it takes to get those heart events <laughs> and how to get more hearts Yeah, you don't, you're too dumb or lazy to do it on your own. <laughs> yeah, I mean, more or less the patience to like sit there and figure it out. I mean, I don't know. That seems like a lot of work, and I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather just have someone spoil it for me. Like, I used wiki to find... Um, how to get, like, the... Prismatic shard other than going into the mi mines. So you can, like, get those, like, fish ponds and put, like, rainbow trout in it. And after a while, after the pond is, like, full and they're happy and everything, like, you can generate a prismatic shard from it. I did learn that. <laughs> I'm sure... I don't know if I would have figured it out otherwise, but... You're 100% trying to game, not work. Yeah. Less work, more play. <laughs> Petition to make games less harder. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Easy games for lazy people. <laughs> but I mean, like, something like this game, though, I haven't really looked up a lot of stuff because I feel like they kind of. It kind of is, like, made for. They're definitely not made for children, but. I mean, children can play it, but it's not made to be hard. You don't have to think. It's more along the lines of like follow directions, read the prompts kind of thing. You've learned that you can break the game when you reproduce those shards in the machine and just make money with that and having wine in the wine cellar. Yeah. I happen to be the world's most powerful wizard. That definitely adds up. Yes, but wine cellars for sure. I know in the last, like, 
last big playthrough that I played with my fiance and I. We made lots of money for one. We had lots of money. And we had like the basement unlocked, so we had like the wine cellar going because I was like, we need to make money. And I think I had just gotten to the point where I sold wine that was like aged because if you get like the silver star, gold star, purple star, aged ones, you get more money out of it. That and if you want to make fast cash, quick, um, strawberries, 100%. What we always do is when, like, we unlock the, um, the greenhouse, you just, like, fill the greenhouse with a majority of just fill the greenhouse with, like, all the strawberries that you can. <laughs> and then and you're making bank on that. Totally a must for the winter. Yeah, especially in the winter when you're making like no bucks. It's terrible. Also like, make sure you stock up on wheat before the winter too, because that can get dicey with your animals. Or stock up like the... The hay. Whatever the animals eat, stock up on it. Otherwise you're gonna have to go to Marnie, and Marnie's like never there in the winter. And your animals are starving, and they're mad at you. And they're dying of hunger, and they're like, feed me. Like, I'm sorry, Marnie's not in her shop. Can't help you. <laughs> So much talk of Stardew Valley, it makes me want to play it. But this gives me my Stardew Valley vibes sometimes. Less work. You spend winters playing Journey of Prairie of the Prairie King just to get you so frazzled. Oh, yeah, when you need Marnie. Like, I thought, like, your animals could, like, legitimately die. And maybe they can. I don't actually know if... My animals have gotten to that point of dying, but... Like, she's got one job to run that store. And where is she? Never in it. No wonder Shane's got a drinking problem, because he's always had to pick up the slack at the store because Marnie's never in there. Facts. 100% facts. Absolutely. Poor guy just needs a drink after all the hard work he does for Marnie. I really need to consider playing... Stardew Valley on the computer because if I'm willing to mod the crap out of my sims... <laughs> what can I do with that information? To mod... <laughs> to mod my... Stardew Valley. Like, that sounds thrilling to me to do that. There's... There's mods that people think are must-haves. I mean, that's with, like, any game that you mod, I'm sure. I mean, there's must-haves for... There's must-haves for, like, at least The Sims, like, MC Command Center, have to have that. <laughs> Can't function without that. 
how you cheat your way out of your sims not dying. However will you live? Let's hmm. clean up around here. We pay a lot of animal American truck simulator. Traffic AI bot is a must. I can see that being something that you need. Especially if it makes like the gameplay easier. Anything to make it more enjoyable. Vanilla, the AI traffic is so bad. <laughs> I'm sure it actually is terrible. To me, like, especially when I mod The Sims, I like to think about, like, how in the world do people play this base game? Like, how? How can you do that? Like, free, extra, downloadable content, 100%, without having to buy all the expansions and everything for things. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? <laughs> if they merge into you for no reason, they just don't see a big old truck. <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of real life, too? I would say that's like almost real life. <laughs> Where people just don't see big trucks or any sort of cars next to them. And they're like, what do you mean? Texting and driving or something? Yes. Yep. No sense of where they're going. Or no sense of people around them or any sort of thing. They're like the only ones on the road. Do I have American Truck Simulator? It's a good question. I don't know. I've seen it before. So it's possible. We could have it, I just don't actually know. They like to play multiplayer on there. Yeah, I mean, we might. Good question. Oh, 
I will have to look into that. All my meals in here. <laughs> Never eat them. Always forget I have them. I don't know why I keep saying I have like something crafting related. I never look at what you can craft. <laughs> Green leafy trail. Ooh, that's so pretty. I like that. A barbecue. I'm gonna have to really amp up my my stuff around here. I'm gonna pretty much play it with vanilla, but a must have mod for it that is truck sounds and make it sound meaner and more realistic. Don't really mind how it is. Yeah, like the like get out of my way type of <laughs> noises. That makes sense. People do that in real life where they just... Oh my gosh. <sighs> I just noticed that. It's so funny. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can craft any of these. Probably not, because I don't have that much dream light. Nope. Can't upgrade any of that. things that I could, could be making. Can I not get rid of these? Oh. No, I can. Hmm. 
I want to see the stuff that I just built. Where are they? Kiss me. Where did it go? Just had it. Where did it go? Here's a campfire. <laughs> there it is. Ooh, it's so pretty. sit in this chair. Hi Caps fan, welcome. Solid. Let's make it look homey. Got a stove outside. Now, Wally. all right. Well. I might stop the stream here just because I have zero stuff to do besides collect mist and that gets boring after a while. <laughs> but next time I'll probably be, probably will be streaming The Sims more than likely. And just probably Saturday, next Saturday, so probably in a week, but we'll see. I appreciate everyone for hopping in and watching the stream. Anyone who kept me company, it's great. Thank you so much. Um... I think do I have anything else to say? Riggs, I hope you have a good one as well. Thank you so much for chatting with me. And I appreciate all of you guys. Have a good rest of your day.